It's Tuesday night and we got three games for you on Tap in the K. My name is Andrea Sachinka and you're watching Daily KHL Update. We travel to Nizhny Novgorod first for Torpedo Playhouse to Salavati Live. The Verses get an early power play and they make it count. Philip Larson makes a cross ice pass and Sakari Monin wires the past to Tihamira. Soon after that, Mara Krivi goes for a solo dash, splits the D and gets to the net, but Yuha Metzola stands his ground. It stands a 1-0 game right till the late minutes of regulation and then Salavat put it away. Sakari Monin has got his second of the net and 15th of the year. That'll do it. Yuha Metzola stops 39 shots for his third shot out of the year and Salavat take it 2-0 on the road. We move on to Moscow, where Spartak take on Ogbars. There's not much scoring in this one either, though. Nikita Dinak takes matters into his own hands late in the first, and that's a beauty to put Ogbars in the lead. Soon after that, Alex Koklachev has a chance to tie it up, but it can beat Timur Bilalov from untied. Late in the third, Sparta get a man advantage, the puck bounces to the high slot, Dmitry Vishnevsky takes a hard shot and it rings off the bar. Ankbars hold on to the narrow lead and enjoy a W on the road, 1-0 is the final. Our last game of the night takes place in Sochi, where the Leopards beat Boris. The house break the ice late in the opening period. Artem Nikolaev throws it to the slot and the puck goes in of captain Darren Dietz. A few minutes later, 19-year-old rookie Kirill Melnichenko scores his first career KHL goal to double the lead for Sochi. Early in the second frame, Alexander Gordon shoves it into the net for his first career KHL goal as well, which extends the lead to 3-0. Daniela Vershin also draws his first career KHL point on the play. Boris pulled back to within one with two goals before the intermission. First Curtis Volk redirects it home on a power play. And then Roman Starchenko scores his second of the year with a screenshot. It's a 3-2 hockey game up to 40. But Sochi tuck it away in the third. Former Kamloops Blazer JC Lupon nets his first goal of the year to make it 4-2. Soon after that, Baritz almost get a goal back, but Nikita Mihailis hits the crossbar and the puck stays out. And late in regulation, Ivan Mishin could convert on a two-man advantage to seal the deal. Baritz lose the third game in a row. 5-2 Sochi is your final. And that's it for your daily KHL update, but do come back tomorrow for another have a set of eight games including Lokomotiv against SKA St. Petersburg and Dynamo Moscow vs. Red Army. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.